Are you tired of feeling like money is a game rigged against you, where no matter how hard you work, the odds never seem to be in your favor? Well, get comfortable because today, we're revealing financial truths you were never told. These aren't your average save a dollar here tips. Oh no. We're diving into the real hidden layers of wealth building, the insights kept just out of reach for most people. If you're ready to challenge what you've been taught and build a better financial future, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. By the end of this video, you'll see money, debt, and even your own financial habits in a completely new light. Let's get started on this journey to financial enlightenment. Let's talk about the common illusion of the hard work equals wealth formula. For as long as most of us can remember, we've been told that working hard, getting a good education, and saving diligently is the pathway to financial success. It sounds straightforward, right? But here's the truth. They don't tell you. Hard work alone doesn't guarantee wealth. Imagine two individuals, one working long hours at multiple jobs, and another strategically investing time in networking, education, and skill building. The first person works hard in the traditional sense, while the second is working smart. And here's where the illusion fades. Hard work without strategic planning rarely leads to wealth. The ultra-wealthy didn't get there by simply clocking in and out. They mastered leveraging their time and energy where it counts. The hard work myth is comfortable to believe in, but it keeps people grinding without direction. Wealth requires clarity, choices, and above all, intentionality. The truth is, the system rewards value creation over sheer effort. While working long hours might bring some income stability, it's the calculated risks, strategic investments, and time invested in high-impact activities that build true wealth. Hard work alone, like clocking in extra hours or sacrificing personal time, often leads to burnout rather than financial security. Wealth building is about finding leverage points, like skill acquisition and strategic investments, where your time and money can yield greater results over time. Think of wealth as a game of chess. In chess, you don't win by moving pieces randomly across the board or rushing through turns. You win by studying patterns, anticipating moves, and placing your pieces strategically. The wealthy understand this, they move with purpose, make calculated moves, and aim to build assets that grow over time. It's time to see wealth building as a game of smart decisions rather than brute effort. Next, who controls the economy? Let's find out. When it comes to financial systems, it's common to believe that the government holds all the cards. But one of the financial truths you were never told is that control is far more decentralized. Yes, governments set policies, but powerful private institutions like banks, investment firms, and corporations also influence the economy in significant ways. Think of it as a puzzle, with pieces owned by governments, corporations, and individuals like us. These entities play a massive role, deciding how and where money flows. For instance, financial institutions dictate interest rates and lending policies, which can impact everything from home ownership to small business growth. The decisions made by these players affect your wealth far more directly than government actions alone. Even more interestingly, the financial decisions made by large institutions can influence your financial standing without you being aware. Banks and investment firms often make high-stakes decisions with a level of agility and access that ordinary people can't match. By understanding this, you can see why relying on government policies alone for your financial security might not be enough. Private companies make decisions that may improve or worsen wealth disparities using funds from everyday depositors to pursue profit-driven goals. The real takeaway here? Realize that the global economy is like a network, and every participant, from the smallest investor to the largest corporation, 
impacts the flow of money. When you invest, spend, or save, you're part of that network too. Knowing who really influences the economy helps you make more strategic decisions in your personal finances, making sure that you're not only aware, but also prepared to navigate this system. Now that we know who controls the economy, let's explore the role of emotional intelligence in money management. Here's a lesser known truth. Money management isn't just about numbers. It's deeply rooted in emotional intelligence. You've probably heard of people winning the lottery only to end up broke a few years later. It's not for lack of money, but because they haven't developed the emotional resilience to manage it. Financial success requires understanding not just where your money goes, but why it goes there. Emotions like fear, greed, and impulsivity play a massive role in financial decisions. Without emotional intelligence, it's easy to sabotage your financial health. Buying things you don't need to fill emotional gaps or panicking during market downturns. Building emotional intelligence around money means learning to make calm, calculated decisions that keep your wealth growing even when emotions flare up. Many financially successful people have mastered their emotions in relation to money, which helps them make level-headed choices during both prosperous and challenging times. They understand that a disciplined mindset doesn't just stop at budgeting, but also involves identifying triggers, understanding spending habits, and recognizing emotional patterns that could lead to unwise financial decisions. An example? Consider the way people react to market dips. A financially emotional reaction would be to sell in a panic, locking in losses. Those with emotional intelligence know to pause, assess, and remind themselves of their long-term goals. Emotional intelligence lets you withstand temporary setbacks while keeping your eyes on the bigger financial picture. If you can master your emotions, your money management will improve immensely taking you one step closer to financial independence. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and want more content like this, comment the word video so I'll know you're on board with us. Now, let's dive into the systemic myths designed to keep us poor. Ever felt like there are hidden forces keeping you from financial freedom? Well, here's a financial truth you were never told. Many so-called rules are actually designed to maintain economic control. For example, the idea that debt is bad keeps people from leveraging resources to grow their wealth. Meanwhile, the wealthy use debt all the time, borrowing at low rates to invest in high-return ventures. These myths keep people in a cycle of working and saving, rather than exploring investments or understanding the tax advantages often utilized by the rich. Financial education, it turns out, is one of the most powerful ways to break free from these myths. Once you start seeing through these stories, you can take control and start shaping your financial path in ways that benefit you rather than the system. Take the myth of good grades lead to good jobs as another example. It's a concept ingrained in society to encourage conformity rather than creativity. While education is valuable, many wealthy individuals succeeded by taking calculated risks and thinking outside the box rather than simply following academic paths. Myths like these are often aimed at creating predictability and limiting wealth mobility. Another myth is the save and scrimp mentality. While saving is essential, many people are taught to save for security rather than growth. Meanwhile, the wealthy understand that wealth creation requires investments that multiply over time, not merely keeping money in low-interest accounts. This scrimping mentality limits financial growth and keeps people in a scarcity mindset. The truth is, these myths work in favor of established institutions and discourage people from seeking out independent wealth-building strategies. By questioning these rules and seeking financial education beyond what's traditionally taught, 
you empower yourself to explore real wealth-generating opportunities. Financial freedom often begins when you stop following the system's rules and start crafting your own path based on knowledge, strategy, and a commitment to growth. Let's move on to our next topic, investing versus saving. The game-changing shift everyone needs. Most people are taught to save, save, and then save some more. But let's face it, keeping money in a low-interest savings account is not a wealth-building strategy. Inflation quietly erodes the value of saved money over time, meaning that money sitting in a bank is slowly losing its power. Wealthy individuals, on the other hand, focus on investing rather than simply saving. They understand that money needs to be active to grow. Investing in stocks, real estate, or even well-planned small businesses can bring returns that outpace inflation. The key difference here is learning to make your money work for you instead of you working for it. This game-changing shift is what separates those who build wealth from those who merely save. Consider this. $10,000 sitting in a savings account for 10 years would have far less purchasing power due to inflation. That same $10,000 invested in a well-performing stock portfolio or real estate venture could potentially double or even triple in value. Investing is not about gambling, but rather about strategically placing money in avenues where it can grow. Expanding on this mindset shift, think of every dollar you earn as having a job to generate more value. When your money is invested, it's working 24-7, multiplying over time. This employed money concept can lead to financial freedom faster than traditional saving. Recognizing this difference is a powerful step toward transforming your financial approach and building a future of abundance. Let's move on to the next topic. The hidden benefits of financial failure. No one likes to talk about failure, but here's a financial truth you were never told. Failure, when handled wisely, is one of the best teachers in wealth building. Most of the successful people you admire have lost money or made mistakes at some point. In fact, some of their biggest leaps in wealth came after financial setbacks. Failure teaches resilience and reveals weaknesses in financial strategies. If you make a bad investment or overspend, instead of feeling defeated, treat it as valuable feedback. What could you have done differently? How can you prevent a similar outcome next time? The ability to learn from financial mistakes is a skill that can set you up for long-term success, making each setback a stepping stone to future wealth. Learning from financial mistakes transforms setbacks into opportunities for growth. It builds a financial muscle, preparing you to make wiser, bolder decisions in the future. For instance, a failed business venture might expose flaws in budgeting or revenue generation. Instead of fearing mistakes, successful people use them as lessons to build resilience and sharpen decision-making skills. The takeaway? Failure can be a powerful motivator when you learn from it. Use setbacks as stepping stones to refine your strategies and build a foundation for lasting wealth. In every failure lies a lesson that can serve as a roadmap to eventual success. With that in mind, let's transition to our next topic, how your environment shapes wealth potential. Our environment shapes how we think about money. For example, if you grew up in a culture where discussing wealth was taboo, you might struggle to understand investment strategies or feel guilty about financial ambition. Cultural beliefs about money can either propel you towards success or keep you trapped in limiting beliefs. Wealth building often requires shifting away from these inherited attitudes and embracing a growth-oriented money mindset. Learning to see money as a tool rather than a finite resource can change everything. Surrounding yourself with people who have a healthy relationship with money can also make a huge difference. 
By changing your environment, you set yourself up for wealth building success. In many cases, mindsets around wealth aren't just culturally ingrained, but also generationally passed down. If you come from a family that viewed money as scarce, you may find yourself subconsciously carrying forward that scarcity mindset. This mindset can create an aversion to risk-taking, limiting your chances of investing or exploring wealth-generating opportunities. Recognizing this influence is the first step toward changing it. Breaking free from these cultural and generational limitations might mean creating new habits, surrounding yourself with financially ambitious people, or engaging in financial education that challenges your inherited beliefs. The wealth building journey often starts by recognizing the influence of your environment and deciding to break from beliefs that no longer serve your goals. This shift is foundational, enabling you to see money not as something to fear, but as a tool for growth and freedom. Over time, as you adjust your mindset, you may notice new financial opportunities emerging, leading to both personal and financial transformation. With that covered, let's dive into our next topic, debunking the bank myth. If you're keeping your money in a bank and expecting it to grow, here's a truth no one tells you. Banks are profiting off your money more than you are. Banks use deposits to make loans and investments, generating profits through the interest they charge. Meanwhile, they give you a tiny interest rate on your savings, barely enough to keep up with inflation. The wealthy know better. They use banks as tools for financial transactions, not wealth accumulation. Instead of hoarding money in a savings account, they invest in assets with high returns. This approach allows their money to grow in ways that outpace traditional savings, proving that banking is just one small part of a broader financial strategy. Imagine if you put that same money into investment funds, stocks, or real estate. Your money has the potential to grow exponentially compared to what banks offer in traditional savings accounts. For example, while a bank might give a 0.5% return, a balanced stock portfolio or real estate investment can yield significantly higher returns over time. By diversifying into multiple assets, the wealthy create streams of income that far outpace any bank account interest. Understanding this myth allows you to explore alternatives that truly grow wealth and to use banks only as temporary holding places for funds before investing. Up next, every financial decision has its price. Here's a financial truth you may have never been told. Every financial decision carries a cost. Whether it's the opportunity cost of spending versus investing or the cost of not having an emergency fund when you need it, every choice has trade-offs. The wealthy understand this well. They evaluate every financial move considering the potential long-term benefits and costs. It's not about being overly cautious. It's about understanding that financial choices today will impact future options. Learning to weigh these trade-offs helps you make smarter, more strategic decisions that keep your financial goals within reach. Financial decision-making is a delicate balance, and understanding the price of each decision allows you to make informed choices. Should you invest in stocks or real estate? Each option has distinct advantages and opportunity costs. The same goes for day-to-day -day decisions like dining out frequently instead of saving toward a larger investment. This approach also includes the time and energy costs tied to every financial choice. By considering all potential impacts on finances, time, and resources, you can prioritize decisions that truly serve your long-term goals. Seeing each choice as a calculated step brings focus to building a solid financial foundation. Ultimately, the ability to anticipate and evaluate these costs shapes a clearer, more intentional path toward financial independence. 
each choice, from small daily purchases to major investments, contributes to building wealth that lasts. With that covered, let's dive into the next topic, the time value of money. Making every dollar and moment work for you. Time is as much a currency as money itself, and one truth often missed is the time value of money. The idea is simple. A dollar today is worth more than a dollar tomorrow thanks to its growth potential. This is why early investing is powerful. It allows time for compounding to work its magic. People who prioritize saving early and investing often benefit from the exponential growth of their money over time. Every year you wait is potential growth lost. This principle is fundamental to wealth building and is why the wealthy prioritize investments that can grow consistently. When you make time work in your favor, you're truly leveraging the power of money. Consider the difference between two investors, one who starts investing at age 25 and another who waits until age 35. Even if they both invest the same amount each year, the 10-year head start allows the first investor to benefit from years of compounding. By retirement, the difference in their portfolios can be dramatic, even if the second investor contributes more over time. The reason? Those extra years allow the initial investment to grow exponentially, illustrating why starting early is one of the most important steps in building wealth. This time value principle also emphasizes the importance of avoiding debt that doesn't contribute to your financial growth. Interest on high-cost debt works against the time value of money, causing your financial future to shrink instead of grow. Instead, aim to pay off debt quickly and direct those funds toward investments that will work for you over time. The time value of money isn't just for young investors, though. Even those who start later can benefit by prioritizing investments that offer compounding growth, like dividend-paying stocks or real estate. Every dollar invested now, no matter your age, is a step toward maximizing your financial potential. Remember, time is one of the only assets you can't get back. So use it wisely to create a future of financial abundance. So, there you have it. The financial truths you were never told, finally revealed. These insights aren't just about money. They're about changing the way you see the world and your role in it. The path to wealth isn't a straight line, nor is it handed to you on a silver platter. It's built through intentional decisions, a mindset shift, and a willingness to look beyond what we've been taught. Remember, building wealth requires more than simply following conventional advice. It's about questioning assumptions, understanding the hidden costs of every choice, and using your money in ways that align with your long-term goals. Wealth grows where there's knowledge and a plan. Each financial truth we've discussed today can be a tool in your journey toward financial freedom. If you found these insights enlightening, I highly recommend checking out my next video, which complements this one perfectly. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Share these truths with friends or family who might also benefit because sometimes it takes a fresh perspective to inspire meaningful financial change. And remember, financial freedom starts with the truths you decide to embrace. It's not about luck or privilege. It's about knowledge, empowerment, and making choices that lead to the life you want. Until next time, keep building your path to financial independence. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.